Today we're going to change the recoil rope on a Husqvarna K760 disc cutter. Firstly, using a torque spanner, remove the four torque screws which secure the assembly in place. You can now remove the recoil assembly as well as the air conductor. Now, extend the cord to its maximum length, releasing the tension by placing the rope into the groove and winding it back onto the pulley. Then, using a torque spanner, remove the screw which holds the pulley in place. Be careful to not lose the spacing sleeve when removing. Remove the rope which is wrapped around the pulley by untying the knot and pulling through the centre of the pulley. Using a screwdriver you can now remove the spring and sealing holder. While you're changing the rope it's also good practice to check the spring and other components which are seated within the pulley for any wear. If the rope is damaged or has become worn then you will need to replace it. Now feed the new starter rope through the side of the new pulley and poke it through the hole near the centre of the pulley. You can use a small screwdriver to help push the rope through. Once pushed through, tie a knot around the metal part of the pulley. Then tuck the tail of the knot to the side. It is important to test the knot to make sure it is tight and secure. Now wrap the rope within the pulley about four times, then feed it through the cut on the side of the pulley. Next, seat the pulley on top of the spring housing. Then place a spring, sealing holder, spacing sleeve and screw back into the centre of the pulley in that order. You can fix these into place using the torque spanner. Test these are secured properly by pulling on the recoil a few times. If the pulley doesn't move, it is secure. Feed the rope through the indent of the pulley and turn the rope clockwise a couple of times. Depending on the slack of the rope, you may need to turn the rope a few more times. Before fixing the recoil assembly back on, make sure there is no slack on the recoil rope. To make it easier to fix the recoil back on, lie the machine on its side. Now secure the air conductor, ensuring it's in the correct place and there's minimal movement. Place the complete recoil assembly over the top of the air conductor, ensuring it's seated correctly. Fix the recoil assembly on, using the torque spanner to fix the torque screws in. Ensure the recoil works correctly and there's no snag when starting the machine. That's how you change recoil rope and a Husqvarna K760 disc cutter. All the parts and tools needed for this task are listed in the description below. Please like, share and subscribe if you found this video helpful.